Whenever you want to solve a quadratic equation like this, a useful first step is to try and see if you can factor it. For this particular example, however, we notice we don't have any common factor between 2, 15, and 7. So I'm going to try to factor the trinomial using the box method. You might recall in the box method the x squared terms go here, the constant terms go in the bottom um, box here, and the x terms are going to go here. Specifically for this example, 2x squared is going to go here, and my constant term 7 is going to go here. My x terms have to make 15x. And the way I arrive at that is I want to multiply my coefficients here. So 2 times 7 is 14, and I want factors of 14, which are going to add up to 15. So my possible factors are 1 and 14, or 2 and 7. And clearly, it's the 1 and 14 that actually add up to 15. Next thing I do in my box method is I put my 1 and 14 in either of these places. It doesn't matter which one goes where. And what I'm going to do next is go through and I'm going to factor everything, all the rows and columns. Factoring the first row, I have 2x squared and a single x. The only thing that those have in common is a single x. In the bottom row, between 14x and 7, they have in common 7. In the top, between 2x, the, the first column, between 2x squared and 14x, those two have in common 2x. And finally, between the 1x and the 7, they don't have anything in common, so that's simply just going to be 1. So by that process, what we've arrived at outside the box are going to be, in effect, my binomial factors. Therefore, my original trinomial can be rewritten as 2x plus 1 times, and those of course come from here, and that's going to be times... Uh, coming from here, x plus 7, and all that is equal to 0 still, because the whole thing is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to apply my zero product property. Zero product property is one that tells me if the whole thing is equal to 0, then either the first uh, factor is 0, or the second factor here is equal to 0. Let's first explore the possibility that 2x plus 1 equals 0. If that's true, if I subtract 1 from both sides, then it should also be true that 2x is equal to negative 1. And finally, I can divide both sides by 2. And I see that in this case, that x itself must be equal to negative 1 half. In the case where x plus 7 equals 0, I can just subtract 7 on both sides of this little equation. And I see that x would have to be negative 7. So I'm proposing that these two, x equals negative 1 half and x equals negative 7, are the two solutions to my original equation back up there. If I plugged either of those in for x, it would make the equation true. Just in sum, we tried to factor. There were no common factors. So we used the box method to factor the trinomial. We got our factors from using the binomial, the, our binomial factors from using the box method. And we set them equal to zero. Using the zero products property, we solve for each individual piece equal to zero. And that gave us our solutions to the original equation. Hope that helped. Thank you.